This is going to be a review for the upcoming test on gender one. There will be no visual component for this because I'll have the test out in front on the screen and I simply will just read through the items. So the first section is the first item that we looked at, the difference between social constructs, norms, gender, and sex. So you'll have a couple of scenarios and you'll have to determine which of the scenario um, is being addressed. For example, Shaquan has a vagina, Muhammad has a penis. Is that gender, sex, social construct, or norm? In class, we looked at indentured servitude and the type of women coming over. This was going back to the first reading from the Gail Collins book, America's Women. Uh, we looked at indentured servitude and how women of a loose caliber were using what they got to get out of contractual obligation. The medical profession and how the medical profession was run by men as a result of a denial of education for women. We have a couple of scenarios involving divorce and whether or not somebody would be able to get a, out of a divorce as a woman in comparison to a male. We also looked in class at the Daniel Sickles case. Uh, we looked at cases that involved the difference between adultery and fornication. Uh, let's see, there'll be some newspaper articles that you'll have to read about a menstrual cycle product tax, as well as the upping game. And the upping game is how historically women have uh, possibly engaged in behaviors that males perceived as interest and as a result of that, wind up in situations like in the documentary about women in the military, where the woman's accused or perpetrator said that he was she was leading him on. So there'll be some scenario questions like that. Uh, the role of women in the military and how the military has addressed sexual assault and rape accusations. You also have to know the uh, black codes or the slave codes. The slave codes that were developed in the 1600s to get permanent and voluntary hereditary servitude with the focus on the uh, status of the child, free or slave, being determined by at first the male and then passed as a result of the slave codes. Uh, the change that led to the social status being determined by the mother. There will be some articles about race and sexual assault. For example, we have uh, in class talked about the difference between sexual assault when the perpetrator is black in comparison to white. And we'll have an article from Nick Cannon addressing his views on that. There will be some articles about the menstrual cycle and comments that you will have to read to determine whether or not comments that are positive or negative which sex do you think is uh, the comment coming from? Um, let's see. There will be a section where it's a chart where you have to look at the woman behavior and how the possible institution, policy, belief, or social construct is indirectly influencing the woman. So you want to think here about like patriarchy. What choices have women made in their lives um, against possibly their will as a result of patriarchy? What choices have they made? So it's a chart where you're going to have to look at a situation, a behavior, and then connect it to a policy, belief, or a social construct. We have Abigail Adams and how her husband laughed. We have some text from her, some of the things that she had written about and her husband's view on whether or not women should be included in the new country. There'll be a section about the four virtues and a reference to the episode of Good Times, as well as some other things that were discussed or um, addressed in class. And you will have to pick submissive, domestic, devoted, pure. Which of the virtue is the women demonstrating in the situation? There'll be some of the rape cases, Daniel Ella, Lana Sawyer, Daniel Sickles, and uh, the question that you'll have to be familiar with is uh, the defense, the defense used by the accused. 
Uh, so the perpetrator in this situation, how is that perpetrator, what argument did the perpetrator use against the victim? The wall, the path of a woman and how her dreams, hopes, desires may possibly be restricted historically as a result of getting pregnant and having to follow the four virtues. In class, there was a chart that was handed out. It has uh, 1776 and takes you all the way up until 1914. You have to be familiar with the chart and what information goes into that chart. So what you probably want to do is go to the gender section. And as this loads up, you go to Civil War. And there is a file that reads Declaration of Sentiments. And the first page, it uh, has blue and red circles. And it gives you a chart of the cult of domesticity, and it's a historical chart. So you want to be familiar with that particular chart and where certain items are placed. You want to take note of uh, jumping the broom and uh, some of the images that were used in class, especially the uh, 1800 Southern system of stratification before the Civil War and after the Civil War. And the Civil War is key because the uh, former slave would now be elevated within the society. You will know the, have to know the difference between Dahl and Drudge and how Dahl and Drudge becomes a criteria, uh, an expectation for beauty that may or may not also impact transgender individuals, um, homosexuality, race, and so on. You'll have to understand the Will Manifesto, the declaration that was created, the Declaration of Sentiments. And you will have the text, so you're just going to have to answer questions looking at the text. The grounds for divorce, how a woman can successfully get a divorce granted. And then we get to the book, White Women, Black Men, and Rape and Sexual Power from the Sexual Assault Discussion. And again, you will have to know some of the cases as well as the outcome or claim. Um, let's see this section, the following questions are from class and demand either a yes or no response. Answer a for yes and B for no. And you have to go with your social gut. So some indentured servants of the upper class were loose and tried to get out of their contractual obligation. Well, that answer is yes, because that was something that was addressed. Southern slavery agreed with disagree with slavery for moral reasons. So that kind of plays out like a true or false type question. Men pay their blood tax through providing sperm. So again, you're answering yes or no, and you're going with your social gut. Some of these play out like true or false. Some scenario questions. Some of the scenario questions deal with uh, situations uh, possibly on an interview, dealing with sexual assault, lewd behavior, Things like that. Uh, let's see. We have some articles about cases from the Red Pill documentary. We have some charts that you'll have to answer as well as have an understanding of the MRA ideology. And that's it.